Hey, what's up? This is Atlas Knight. Today, I get the Atler Sophie 2, the alchemist of the mysterious dream on Nintendo Switch. Here it is. A mysterious story of a mysterious dream journey into the fanatical dream world of Erich Wedge. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, um, hang on. I gotta lay this camera on something. I can put this right here. Then make sure this thing don't fall down. Hold on. There we go. I'll go ahead and open it up. Let's see what's in this baby. Hang on. Make sure I don't mess up the case. Be careful. Okay. Well, here we go. That's all that's up in here for now. A manual. Well, nothing special doesn't come with it, but anyway, here's the uh, game right here. Let's make sure the back's okay. Yep, the back is good. Well, that's it for today. And um, I finally got the whole Atler collection on the Nintendo Switch. Got the whole collection right here. And yes, these are all fiscal copies of the game. I love collecting fiscal copies of uh, games for Nintendo Switch. I hate collecting digital games because you can't sell them. The only time I buy digital games on any game console is only if they're like 60% off or higher. But I still mainly prefer fiscal copies of games because you can sell them whenever you want to. But me though, I just buy games. I don't sell them. I just keep on buying and buying. The only time I'll sell one of my games is only if I find an extra copy of it at the pawn shop. Like, I have two copies of uh, Super Mario Kart 8 right here. I used to have three copies, but um, I got two right here. I got this one from the pawn shop for $20 brand new. It was sealed up. I opened it to make sure the game was up in there. But anyway, I was able to sell for $40. So I made a uh, $20 profit. But anyway, though, enough about that. Uh, this is Atlas Knight. Like, share, and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and like this video. And I will see y'all later. And uh, have a good day.